Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a video that's been requested and one that I actually really wanted to do. It's been requested for me to choose my favorite like can't live without makeup geek eyeshadows because if you guys know if you follow me on my social media then you know that my makeup geek eyeshadows are the only thing that I've been using since I like got them and I barely ever reach for my ready-made palettes anymore. So just to start off, a little disclaimer. I bought most of these but I also got sent a couple by them which was super exciting. If you guys follow me on Instagram you will have seen the post about it and on my Snapchat as well. I'll leave both of those right here. It was kind of a big deal for me because Makeup Geek is a company that I love. I love their products. Every single product that they have, I love. So when they reached out to me, thank you Rachel, I was so excited and so happy and it was unbelievable. I just wanted to show you guys what my favorites were because I have a lot of eyeshadows. Like I have these two palettes. I took out my favorites so I have a couple more than that. I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite eyeshadows. I really want to show you guys these ones because they're my favorites and they're the ones that I think are the most unique in terms of color or formula or just whatever it may be. So let's just get into it. So I put them all in this Z palette plus this extra one right here. So as you can see, there's a good mix of color and neutrals. I love putting color on my eyes. I, I'm not afraid of using color. I actually prefer to use color than just use neutrals. So I'll start out with the first one. This is Frappe and this is kind of like a medium warm brown shade. This is great for like deepening the crease area if you want something warm. It's a great transition shade if you're a bit of a darker skin tone. For me it works as a, like a nice dark transition color. If you're any darker than me, I'm an NC30 for reference, this would be an amazing transition shade. I know everyone uses peach smoothie but that's way too light for me so... Frappe. Really beautiful. Next one is one that I asked for when they emailed me. This is Chickadee and it is a very nice medium yellowed orange. This is very different to any orange that I have. For example, this is Rule by MAC and this is the palest orange I have and as you can see it's completely different. This works so amazing in the crease of the transition shade to like smoky looks. I'm wearing it today with another color. Yeah, I put it I put the other color in the palette too. And it just Oh my god, it's so soft, first of all. It's a really good matte. And the color is just beautiful. You can use it for so many things. You can use it all over the lid for like a nice pop of color. You can use it in the crease. Oops. That's my phone on. And it builds up really nicely. There is a swatch right there. And it's perfect for smoky looks or just everyday looks as well. It's very versatile. Next up we have another orange, but this one is much more vibrant, if you can tell. This is Poppy, and Poppy is a very red neon orange. So I don't know if you can even see how like vibrant it is. It's so pretty. This color I wanted to get after trying to do Luster Luxe's neon peach look because I knew that I could use it for that and then also I didn't have any shade like this. I've never seen a shade like this like at the same price point. So I decided to ask for it as well and I'm wearing it today along with Chickadee right in the transition and crease area. And it just kind of like brings a lot of warmth to your look. It's very vibrant so if you like color, this is a really good one for you. Okay, so last one for the mattes. This is a color that I just recently got into. I've had it for a while, but I never really used it until now. This is Bitten. It's a really raved about maroonish burgundy red. And I never got it before because I was like, oh, you know, it's not red enough. I want a nice red, which is why I love Mars from the Matty palette. But this one's really good to like smoke out purpley cranberry looks. I'm wearing it today in like the outer corner and in the lower lash line and it is beautiful. I decided to include this one because even though it's maybe not the most unique color, the formula on this one is so good. Usually red colors like this are very patchy and very chalky. This one is so nice. It's so creamy, so soft and it's very blendable and it doesn't like fade away or anything. It's really really good. 
So this is Bitten. So the rest of the ones that I'm gonna show you are all shimmers slash foiled. So these are either duochromes or foiled. I haven't really dabbled much into her normal shimmer shades. So yeah, let's get into it. So this first one is I Am Peachless and it is one of her duochromes and it's kind of like a pale peach base with pink reflex. This one, I was not even interested in when I first got the duochromes. You know what, you're not missing out on anything. Just get it, you'll see, maybe you like it. I love it. It gives the most beautiful like duochromatic flash and it's really beautiful as a lid color and as a highlight especially. You could even use this as like a face highlight and it would be gorgeous. This next one was originally my favorite duochrome just because I love purple. This is like an icy white with purple reflect. This one is not super metallic but it's very reflective in the sense that the duochrome to this one is really strong. I'm trying to just like move my hand so you can see everything. Maybe back here. Yeah. So the reason why I love this one is because purple is my favorite color and I love doing like pale purple looks with this type of eyeshadow. So if you like purple looks then this one is a must. The first one is Ritzy. This is another duochrome. I'm not entirely sure what the description for Ritzy is, but Ritzy to me is kind of like a mossy green base with like a cranberry brownish shift. It's so pretty. Look at that. That one is so insane. You can see how beautiful and duochrome is. What I love about this one is it's not one of the pastel colors, but it's so wearable for every day. This looks so good on the lid with like a brown in the crease. You could do a cranberry shade, you could do a red, you could even do a purple if you wanted to, like an eggplant purple. Or you could do like an olive green as well, it would look really cool. Really never seen a shade like this one before. So pretty. So yeah, this one's Ritzy, and I love this one so much. This next one is the last one from the duochromes that I think you should pick up. This one is Typhoon. Now, to me, Typhoon is like a seafoam green blue with a gold shift. It's super cool as well. I will swatch it right there. Oh my god, do you see that? Look at that. It's so cool. In the pan as well, you can see how cool it is. This one goes great with like green tones. This one looks really good if you have like an orangey crease. It's so cool. And my favorite way to wear this is with like a peacock green color. Say peacock from Makeup Geek. These two together look so dope. But it's so unique too. Like you don't see seafoam colors like this tone. So I love this one. So the last two are both foiled eyeshadows. So this first one is Grandstand. This is one of Marlena's favorites, she says. And on the website, I know that this is described as a taupey rose gold. And I kind of agree, because it's it's a rose gold, but it's very muted. It's not as like bright and like flashy. This color is probably my favorite lid color ever, especially mixed with some of the other colors, but on its own as well. Whoo! Look at that foil. This looks great on like medium to dark skin tones especially because it really looks bright and beautiful. So yeah, gorgeous ground stand. And then last but not least, like I told you guys, I love doing pale purple looks. So when they told me that I could pick out five foiled eyeshadows, I knew that I had to pick up Daydreamer because it's basically a pale purpley lilac-y lavender color but in a foiled finish and I know that I love the foiled finishes. This is another one that's super metallic. There are some that aren't as metallic as others. This one is a good one. Ooh, oh my god. Ooh. This is so pretty as an inner corner highlight. I like it for the inner part of the lid. What I love doing with this eyeshadow too is doing like a halo eye with like a dark purple or even a cranberry with this in the middle. Oh my god, it's so pretty and it's so metallic. And when you wet the brush, this one is insane. I love Daydreamer. This would be such a cool highlight for like paler skin tones or if you like a really really bright highlight. Really cool. So that's it you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you guys. These are so beautiful and buttery and they're so worth the money. They're not even that expensive for me to say that they're six dollars each and except for the foiled eyeshadows which I think are an extra four dollars. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful and useful. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Please like if you liked, subscribe if you liked, and I'll see you next time. Bye!